Hi everybody, this is Mr. Bear again. again. Here we're go I want to go over the uh, second problem in day two assignment. So those of you guys that are choosing to do the day two assignment for uh, CPM, this is the video for this. So uh, remember again, it's a new page in your notebook. This is the title for your Cornell notes. Please make sure you guys are writing it here. And we're in section 225, can I combine functions? So we've seen similar, uh, I think we already went over this section before, but we have not done the problem we're about to do. So let me scroll down. We're going to go down, 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 down to section, uh, problem 2168, 2-168. So here we go. It says, remember function machines, and everybody here should remember this, okay? Remember, what's function notation? Function notation is this, right? F of X, right? So we're going to use function notation for this problem. It says, remember function machines. Each of the problems shows how the same uh, machine changes when X value, in, uh, when given the X value into the corresponding function value, find the equation for the, this machine. So what you guys are doing is telling me, well, what is the equation for all these machines, right? Well, they're all the same equation, but we don't know what the equation is. And that's actually what you guys are going to do. So what is the equation? Well, we don't know. That's your job, right? You guys are going to tell me what to do. Uh, if you guys are a little confused, uh, I'm going to let you know that the equation is the same for each of these machines, okay? So if you click here on homework help, you guys are going to see this uh, scroll up. It's just here to try to give you guys some help. So it's going to give you a hint. It says uh, copy and complete the table function. So it's basically completing a uh, table. So I'm going to use here a different, uh, a different page here. So what are they asking us to do? So they said one of the hints is to create a table so you're here i'm going to create a table so here's my inputs here's my output right my function and i think there was four machines let me go back to the uh, problem so if i input 10 i get what 101 if i input two what do i get it was five okay if i input three i get 10 if I input five, I get 26, okay? Good. So here's a question for you guys. What is the function, okay? Here's your question. What is the equation? So what's the equation that uses these inputs to give me these outputs, okay? Um, <clears throat> so that's what the assignment is. It's kind of short, but I'm going to add something to this. So those of you guys that have been doing, uh, uh, I think this was in Chapter 5, I'm going to add a step to this. I want you guys to tell me what is the inverse of this function. So what is, this is the function notation again, right? What is the backwards function for this machine, okay? So the backwards function, if I plug in 101, I should get 10 back. If I plug in uh, 2, right, I get 5 back, right? So let me write all your inputs. Now remember, these are this is the backwards machine. So if I input the, uh, the uh, outputs for the first function, then I'm gonna go back what I started with. So th in this case, I plug in ten. I plug in ten into my inverse. I get three back. If I plug in twenty six, I get five back. Okay. So what am I asking for? I'm asking for the inverse function. Remember the one with the little one on top of it. So I'm adding a little part to this that's not part of the original problem, but I'm adding in as something that I need you guys to do. So you guys gotta give me the equation for both of these. So what's the uh, equation for the function and what's the equation for the inverse of the function, okay? So that's the assignment, you guys. Good luck with this. If you guys have any questions, you guys can talk to me. 